You may want to understand the correlation between two measures. The scatter and heat map visualizations can be used to discover insights. In this video, you will see how to create a scatter chart and how to create a heat map. This dashboard shows the three visualizations that will be created during this video. A scatter visualization shows how two measures plotted along the x and y axis are related through a descriptive attribute appearing as a data point. I want to understand how my baked goods sales compare to the number of pastries being thrown out. From pastry inventories, quantity sold is dropped in the x-axis and waste in the y-axis. From product, product is dropped in the color slot. I can see for most baked goods, almost as many pastries are thrown out as are sold. However, in the upper right hand corner, I can see almost three ginger scones are being thrown out for each sale. This insight leads me to do additional analysis. I've made a copy of the visualization. Store address is dropped in the color slot and product is moved up to the points. The previous single data point for ginger scones has become a data point for each store. This additional level of detail confirms for me that three stores are experiencing the same high levels of waste for ginger scones. After additional analysis on what other products are selling, combined with these waste insights, sales promotions might be created to turn these numbers around. A heat map is another way to visualize the relationship between three or more data. I set up the visualization by dropping product from the product table into the row slot. From sales outlet, sales address is dropped in the column slot. And from pastry inventories, waste is dropped in the heat slot. Ginger scones have the darkest cells. This indicates that they have the highest waste numbers, and it seems to be consistent across three of the stores. This insight might drive deeper investigation on why ginger scones are selling so poorly. This concludes the video on how to conduct analysis on two related measures. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.